Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And we are getting ready to make some chili seasoning. Yes. And this is going to be my own special recipe right here. But I think you all might like it. Y'all stay tuned. Just like before, I'm going to try to get this done in under five minutes. Okay? So now, we're going to go through this as we add it to the bowl. Okay? And hopefully these are just things you already got in your cabinet. So you don't have to run out and buy those little packets of chili seasoning. We can make it ourselves. Let me show you. So y'all know I just wrapped up the video on how to make my own homemade taco seasoning. And now we're making our own homemade chili seasoning. Y'all, come on. This is going to be so simple. Let's get to it. <clears throat> so now the first thing you're going to need is some chili powder. That's what I got sitting on top right here. You're going to need four teaspoons of this. Any kind of flavor chili powder you like. Mine is chipotle flavor. <laughs> but I'm going to be using four teaspoons. Simple. Now you can double, triple, quadruple this if you like. But this is enough for me. Four teaspoons of chili powder. Okay. Now we're going to do some red pepper flakes. Where are you? There you go. Okay. I'm going to do. Now remember this chili. We're going to do a whole tablespoon of red pepper flakes, okay? <clears throat> it's chili. Next, we're going to add some cayenne pepper. What would chili be without the heat? You got to bring the heat. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Y'all think that's something? Mm -hmm. Put that to the side. <clears throat> Now we got some white pepper. What? More heat? Yeah. We're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of some white pepper. Drop that in there. Sit it inside. All right. Now we're going to add some onion powder. Now I ran out. Okay. I ran out of the good stuff, but I got some stuff. I'm going to add a whole tablespoon of onion powder to this. <clears throat> I'm going to add a whole tablespoon next of garlic powder to this. Okay? In the bowl. All right. Sit this to the side. We're going to need two teaspoons of sugar. I'm using marina sugar. Okay? That's what I'm using. But whatever sugar you got, two teaspoons right in the bowl okay make sure i get every bit of that out of there mm -hmm. sit that back over there <clears throat> all right now you're gonna need some cumin okay let's get out of shake that smell good too. oops that smell good too i'm gonna add two teaspoons of ground cumin <clears throat> sit that to the side I'm also going to add some parsley flakes, y'all. Look at that. Two teaspoons of parsley. I'm making a mess right in the bowl. All right. Put that to the side. Now we're going to add some basil to this. But I'm only adding one teaspoon of basil. Just some dry basil. I am making a mix. Put that to the side. Now I'm going to add some salt to this. And I am going to add my pink Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to add two teaspoons. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right into the bowl. All right. Last but not least. Y'all already know I ain't going nowhere without my boom, Tony Saturas. Y'all know this already. <clears throat> gonna add a couple of teaspoons 
of Tony C. A couple of nice teaspoons. Okay, and sit that to the side. And that's all the spices we are adding to this right now. That's it. Y'all see that? Yeah, that's all we're adding to this. And now I'm just going to give it a stir. We're going to mix this up real good. We got to get those spices nice and blended in this bowl. Yes, we do. Let me sit that back right there. Oh my goodness, this smells like chili. It just smells like chili. <laughs> chili in a bowl. <laughs> And I'm just giving it a nice mix. Now, really and truly, I could have added a tablespoon of sugar to this. But I'm being nice. <laughs> I added two teaspoons. But that's what's in here. And that's it. Nice and mixed. Look at that. Nice and mixed. Isn't that gorgeous? Homemade chili seasoning. That's right, from basically what you may already have in your pantry, in your cabinet, okay? Yeah, now y'all, this is spicy, okay? I'm telling you. So y'all, this is spicy. This is chili seasoned, okay? So if you don't want the heat, just leave out the cayenne pepper, and for goodness sake, don't put all them red pepper flakes in there. But if you do want the heat, bring the heat. In fact, you can add a little extra cayenne and red pepper if you want to. But plus my chipotle flavored chili powder is spicy too. So I got, this is a bowl of heat. <laughs> this is a bowl of heat. Okay, you all. That's it. My seasoning for my chili beans is ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yes. No packets of chili seasoning here. Right here. Bam! All right, y'all. That's going to do it. I hope I got that video in under five minutes. I don't know, but I hope so. But, y'all, isn't that simple? Putting your own seasonings together. Now, I know somebody's going to ask the question, <clears throat> where do you buy your seasonings from? I don't know where you live, but y'all try places that have like, um, you know, places that sell to restaurants, <clears throat> but they are also open to the public. Try places like that. They may have bulk spices. If you have a farmer's market, try places like that that may sell in bulk. Any place that you can buy in bulk, they will have spices in bulk, okay? Especially those... You boy. Ain't nobody out there. Anyway, Jackson. Anyway, they may have... But they may have what you need in bulk, okay? So check out all of those places. It's going to vary based upon where you're located. But I can say this. Every place that I've ever gone that had like a restaurant supply place, a restaurant depot or, or something like that, they always had bulk spices and they were not expensive either you know I'm, I'm telling you they were not you know i think the most expensive would be garlic powder so yeah but in any case try places like that try your farmers markets and hopefully they'll have what you need in bulk based upon where you may be located okay so y'all that's gonna do it let me turn this camera around so i can stop leaning okay so that is going to do it. I got eggs everywhere. I got eggs over here, eggs back there. I got eggs everywhere. But that is going to do it for how we put together our seasoning mixes.
okay i do several mixes but that's i did the taco one in the previous video this is my chili seasoning mix right here and i used this when i was canning up my navy beans and i was seasoning my navy beans according to these spices okay i hope you found the information helpful i hope that you like the spice mix i hope that you add to it and make it your own take away from it if you need to to make it your own make it your own so if that helped you i hope it did please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel so thank you all so much for watching homestead heart as we make our own spice blend mm -hmm. peace and blessings to each and every one of you and i'll see you in the next